Hi there Leo, thank you for joining me for your year 2015 forecast. This year begins with a big change in the heavens, with Saturn, the planet of structure but also of restriction and limitation, which has been working its way through your sector of home, family and also emotions over the last couple of years, does relocate into a newer area, the sign of Sagittarius, of course your sister fire sign. Now it's not necessarily going to be a walk in the park in this area, but it is a difference. And this emphasis is going to show itself pretty quickly early in this new year. A time when Mars starts the year in your opposite sign. And this can make you rather more combative about the way that you engage with people, even in the early beginnings of 2015. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, which is in your sign still, continues with you until August the 10th. So you have a massive opportunity to demonstrate to people just how talented you are. Jupiter can help you to start projects or to add extra impetus to those that are important to you already. In the opposition with Mars, you can see, see you much more risk-taking rather than risk-averse. Now as long as you calculate those risks, this can be very positive. It can make you much more go-getting and with a desire to really step up your game. Now the move of Saturn, however, suggests that when it comes to your talents, flair, creativity, if you've not been using them as much as you may have liked, well this is a key period for you this year. A chance for you to showcase just what makes you such an individual and quite charismatic member of the Zodiac. There's also a cluster of energy as the new year begins, just like last year, in the part of your horoscope to do with health, to do with work, and these may be areas that you're continuing to grapple with, but there is one particular aspect which is very pleasing. This sees a conjunction between Mercury and Venus, suggesting that there could be somebody that you meet who turns out to be a real asset to you this year. This could be someone who is a gym instructor, a private trainer. It could be someone who knows a lot about health, nutrition, diet. It could be you who's going to take on this role of actually helping yourself by the amount of detail that you absorb to help you improve your situation. It also can see you developing more harmonious working relationships and perhaps you're going to work more closely with one person in particular. But the overall challenge which has been coming through for you for the last three years or so has been this balance you've needed to strike between being a free spirit and continuing to do the things that you feel obligated to do. And that energy unfortunately is still going to be strong this year in the first five months and in the last two months. And you may find yourself at times still feeling quite resentful. So it's not a good year to promise to do things, to be a good egg to the point that you end up being an exhausted battery hen. You've got to look after yourself and be aware that there's part of you that is going to need to just check out at times from all those obligations and commitments and being conscientious and just create some space for you to breathe. Now how you do that could be completely unique to you. Another Leo may see it in a different way, but you do need some kind of outlet, travel, higher education, uh, some sports, some spontaneous spare time where you can just go off and do your own thing will really be like a breath of fresh air. And without that outlet, the pressure can build up at times in a way which isn't very good for you. And with Saturn asking you to be much more mindful of your talents, well, you need to create the time to focus on those too. Now, as we move into the year, there is a lot of Aquarian influences in January. So this can be a particularly important month for relationships for you. But by the 20th of March, we see a big solar eclipse. And this solar eclipse sets the scene for the following six months. And for you, it can be very much about how you earn money. And how you do this needs to be balanced about around your need to be a free spirit. Because the lunar eclipse, which occurs on the 4th of April, works in a polar pair with the solar eclipse. And they're not actually 
going to work quite as cooperatively as they usually do. There's an out of syncness to it. And for you, it's balancing your desire to have enough money to cover your bills and have a lifestyle against being the person you really want to be, the authentic you. And Uranus is there reminding you all the time of the need to be free to follow things. And if structures are stopping you doing this, it could be very, very depleting for you. So you must look after yourself in this way. However, there is a big change which does occur in the middle of June because, yes, Saturn is going to re be retreating from March and then it rewinds back into Scorpio and for three months you could find yourself dealing with family stuff, where you're going to live, who you're going to live with and how, or deeply personal issues and you may have to make some key decisions about your future. But also on the 11th of August a change occurs which can be wonderful for you in terms of finances. Jupiter moves into your second solar house and broadly over the following year it can see you benefit and extra money can come your way, especially if you are entrepreneurial. But don't try to do anything too radical in September itself because Jupiter is in opposition with Neptune. And Jupiter in Virgo is also in its detriment. It's not actually the best place for this planet because Jupiter is one of the two rulers of Pisces and therefore it's opposite one of the, the, the zodiac signs that it governs, the other being Sagittarius. So for you it's important in September that if you are thinking about making some changes around your finances, that you think it through very carefully and you get as many facts clear in your mind as you can. If you make any big decision on the back of some hazy calculations, on the back of a, a beer mat, you could end up being seriously out of pocket and someone could actually deceive you or you could deceive yourself about how well you can do in a new, uh, more finance generating project that you hope to go with. Fortunately, there are two other eclipses in September which actually can protect you. One is very logical and that involves the sign of Libra and help, that can help you to scythe your way through some of the muddle and get to what's really essential. But it's also true that as the month comes to a close there's much more emphasis again back on the emotional dynamic of life and staying in touch with that is going to be important for you. You can be a larger than life character but you can also mask some of your insecurities and vulnerabilities because it's so important for you to be respected at the nth level you love to be loved but as long as you're respected that's very important but this means at times you find it very difficult to show your vulnerabilities and that's not always a good thing Leo because sometimes you keep things inside of you that are just absolutely desperate to come out. And when it comes to your love life particularly, once Saturn moves in September back into your sister fire sign of Sagittarius, you may have to start thinking seriously about how you can revitalize a long-standing relationship. Or if you're single, be more realistic about your expectations, about the type of partner you're likely to get. There is, however, an absolutely incredible aspect that works its way all through October, which can see you do fantastically well around finances, and some of the, the sludge which seems to block up your thinking in September makes way for a very constructive period, and there could be some real fundamental changes which can delight you. But just remember that Uranus is going to square, square it with Pluto as this year comes to a close. And unfortunately, some of the ways that you want to make new money are going to require you to put a commitment in or to work very closely on the detail of something. And detail some, sometimes can bore you a little bit because it's the more colourful, dynamic side of situations which really engage you. But if you can make those sacrifices as this year draws to a close, I think you can end it fitter, in a new situation, much more conscious of your needs, with your emotional situation much more settled, but it's not going to be potentially quite as sparkling as you hope, simply because Saturn is going to keep reminding you that the only way to your ultimate goals is through hard work and application. Thank you for joining me, good luck, and goodbye for now.